All right, my peeps, we're right here. Um, we're at some raw vegan restaurant. We're gonna see um, Luke Corona do some presentation. All right, man. Well, we'll show you guys right now. What's up? So the restaurant is called the Fine Hum Humanese Cuisine. Well, that's okay. Something and lack or alu lack? I don't know. We'll see. You'll see the sign right now. Um, yeah. So we're here. See what's up. Some vegan food. Oh, look, parking right here, right in front. Should I go get the truck? Look at them. Lock it up. Did you lock it up? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. There's a spot. Yeah. Food or promoting it. Cool. Nice. Cool, oh, look at it. It looks so nice. <laughs> So we're good, right? Alright, so we're gonna see this up right now. Alright. Um, we're still on the side, we're still looking at the menu. Okay. Thank you. We'll let you know. Okay, so what we got was the Chocoholic, coconut juice, raw cacao, hemp seeds, and maple. It was that between the hemp and milk. But we chose that one. So, and here it is. They already brought it. So, go for it, man. Do the taste test. Yeah, I bought some Yeah. 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 All right. Hey, everybody. How you guys doing? Good. Great. We see some familiar faces. A lot of you came. How many people came from VegFest? Just found out about us from VegFest. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Cool. We were so stoked to be there. And really, the reason why we went to VegFest and had a booth and everything was just to be here, just to invite people here. Because this talk we went to about two years ago, almost exactly two years ago. And <clears throat> For some of you may have seen Lou Corona before, and some of you have maybe never heard of him, never been to a talk or anything. And for us, we had seen him before on YouTube. But when we found out that he was here, and he does the intro, we came like as soon as we found out. And glad we did, because it changed our entire life. And it was a glimpse of something that I had never witnessed before. So for me, what brought me here was I had crashed with my health at age seven. And when I was eating like home cooked meals, I was active, I thought it was healthy, but I got diagnosed with type one diabetes. My blood sugar was 863 and I was like right there on the edge of my life. And right after that happened, I took shots with every meal so that I could digest my food. I went through countless nutritionists, doctor appointments, I mean, and I struggled thereafter. 
trying to have stable energy and trying to figure out what works and what doesn't and how to eat right. And the thing is, is that I started to get older and I started to have this sense like, we're not, we're not meant to have sicknesses and diseases. I just kind of felt like that. And I felt like there's, there's got to be a way that we should live in a powerful, vibrant way and be free from fear and sickness and disease and just live a good life. And so I started searching and I, I got into holistic health and I went to countless health educators and herbalists and all of these different things. And so I was on a search in a way. And one thing that's unique about this is that Lou is, he's 65 years of age and he's had 43 years of experience in this way of living. And what makes him unique is that he takes every aspect of life from a mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical perspective and, and lives it in a powerful way. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So everybody here, this isn't new to anybody. This is something that we all do on a daily basis. But this is just a way to do it in a more powerful way. And so when I saw that Lou had encompassed that and had been living like that for the last 43 years after he himself crashed with his health, and had all these different sicknesses and diseases, and learned how to cleanse, heal, regenerate, I went, that guy is very, very unique. And uh, I did everything I could to learn as much as I could and to go further. So I went to, me and Nick, we went to a workshop and a food class after. And that is where we learned the tools. So after this little glimpse, there's going to be a six-hour long workshop on what the four principles are, how to apply them in a deeper level. And following that's a food class. And so that's going to be here, September, oh, uh, November, 19, 19 from, I believe it's 12 to 6, right? 12, 12 to 5. 11 to 5 here, November 19th, and it's free. And then we're doing a food class thereafter. And the food class is where you get to learn all the recipes. So that's why we put the registration cards. So fill out the registration cards so that we can update you when and where that's going to be. And the food class is in a different spot. It's at this place called Park Newport. We'll give you all the details after. But basically, after learning this stuff and applying this stuff, not only were our hearts transformed and our minds clear, and not only have we become more at peace on a mental and spiritual emotional level, which is what we all pray for everybody in here, but... We feel better than we've ever felt. We're more radiant than we've ever been. I'm stronger than I've ever been. My blood sugars are finally better, and they're easy to control now. And my insulin's like one-third than it was all those years I was searching to try to figure it out, you know? And so for me, feeling the way I feel and experiencing the results I've experienced in just two years, it's undeniable for me to be able to witness somebody like Lou. But... This is not just for people who have sicknesses, diseases of any kind. Because I've seen Nick here transform in every single way you can imagine. And I've seen him go from being scared and from being pale and schizophrenic practically. I mean, no. Compared to the contrast now, practically was schizophrenic. Oh, yeah, big time. Like, we feel so good, we can hardly stand it. I mean, we feel like off the hook. And then, so we're starting to feel like, why Lou feels like that, you know? And so, we're so stoked to be here. And uh, could you share just a little bit about what happened to you and what this really is all about? Yeah, most people, like AJ said, most people get involved in this type of, this class or looking into something like this. They normally come from a background of crashing with their health or having something terribly wrong with them, like a disease of some sort. And that's when they decide to want to, you know, take a proactive approach on their life. But in my case, I was a personal trainer for five years. I met Lou two years ago, and I was honestly, I thought I was in great shape, um, and I was doing pretty well for myself. But the things that I had going on were not like a disease, per se. I had more, like AJ said, I had a lot of anxiety. I had, I would say, a minor case of depression. I mean, I was just living a toxic college lifestyle. I mean, I suffered with a tobacco addiction, I was drinking on the weekends, and I definitely wasn't feeling good. I definitely wasn't feeling at my best. And when I experienced this talk two years ago, and I saw Lou, who was three times my age at the time, and could outperform me in every way possible, it kind of got my attention. And I was like, there must be something to this. So I decided to take on this work, these principles, and apply them to my own life. 
And when that happened, my digestive issues went away. I had digestive issues. My congestion went away. My skin problems. I mean, my skin used to be so pale. I used to have acne all over my face. I mean, it was ridiculous what, what I used to look like. I was stiff, and I was just feeling miserable. I mean, I wasn't feeling good. And so after I applied these principles and put them into practice, after going to the workshop and the food class, that's when my whole life transformed. And I've never been the same ever since. And all we ha have been doing ever since then is wanting to get this out there to as many people as possible because it's so real and it's so powerful and it transformed our entire lives. So this isn't so much about our results and our testimonies. And we can tell you how good we feel toward if you're blue in the face. But this is about everyone learning these things, adopting these things, and applying them into their own life so they can have whichever results they want. So just know that we're here out of love for each one of you, and we thank you all so much for being here. Gosh, it's such a privilege just to be here. And if I'd like to take a moment to just introduce Luke Corona, and if we give him a warm welcome just for being here. That simple four principles that I learned years ago. And it, what's amazing about it, it's so simple, a child could understand it. And, uh, and that's where the truth is. It's real simple. Now, to live it is another thing. <clears throat> so, so, what I'd like to do tonight is uh, speak into your... Well, there we go. Your there we're in. <laughs> So everything I'm about to say here, just know that I'm here for mainly one reason and one reason only. It's, it's because, see, I recognize that, that you are me and I'm you. And so for us in this life, if we learn something that, that's real and truthful and life-changing, life-saving, transformational, whatever it is that can make your life a better life, then, then we have what I would call a moral obligation to pass it forward. Do our best and just pass it forward. So, um, so for many years, I, I have felt like, like I lived in this dark tunnel and that we as, as people have lived in a dark tunnel, in darkness, so to speak, and, and somehow, Somehow I stumbled across this, um, this sense that I needed to pull out of that scenario and I somehow found, you know, like touching the wall in, in this dark tunnel like and just kind of moving out of it. And then at far along the way, I saw this little spark of light through the hole of the tunnel and something told me to pick at it and poke around and see what's on the other side of that. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Good time. And so I bore through it, and then I popped out of that tunnel, and I saw this light. And then I saw nature, and I saw animals, and I saw this beauty. It's, I mean, I saw something so incredible that, and it completely transformed my whole life. I realized that how I was living and how I was doing things before, was totally different compared to what I was doing after that. So, so once my life transformed and, and all these things happened to me, which I'll explain, I knew then that I needed to come back into that tunnel and go to the other end and go back to uh, let everybody know about it. So as I explain my story a little bit to you, you kind of get an idea what I'm talking about. And it's been very interesting very interesting for me. And hilarious at the same time. That's why I'm up here kind of laughing at it. You know? Uh, I'm up here to be playful and laugh about it and not take it personal like that. So some of you in this room are going to be able to hear what I'm saying and see through it and adopt it and embrace it and benefit from it as I have in many ways in one. 
uh, kind of like Adrian did have. And some of you are going to not be able to see it and hear it and feel it. And just not even, just it's going to go right over your heads. And you're going to go on just doing whatever you're doing. And then one day you may call me back and say, Lou, you know, I went to your tongue about five years ago. And, uh, but now I've got this tumor sticking out of my head like you did. And, um, I'm ready to learn now. I'm ready to do whatever I need to do to get that care, take care of because I don't really like the idea of surgery and chemo and radiation and all that. Kind of like what you did yourself, you know. Or it might be chronic asthma or diabetes or whatever it is. So, so tonight I, what I'm going to do is just share, share with you a little glimpse of my personal story so you have an idea where this came from, where it really came from. and Because um, I think it's, a, it's important for, for all of you to have a sense of what I went through and where the source came from of this knowledge and then what I did and how I conquered this and this and this and how I've been living for, you know, 44 years like this now and, uh, and why I feel the way I feel and why I can do what I can do. And, and hopefully, through all that, you might be left inspired enough and motivated enough and educated enough to maybe adopt it yourself and have a great life out of it. And a, a much better life from it, and uh, than you might would, would otherwise, and and then um, and that will make me feel like maybe I did a great thing by coming here tonight that left you inspired enough, motivated enough, educated enough to cause a shift in your own consciousness and tap into this potential that's inside you to live a more powerful life than ever and feel better than ever and look better than ever and have more energy, more strength, more power than you ever had and, and just go on with a great, powerful, amazing life like we were intended to begin with. Amen to that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, and then from there, I'll share the four principles and just rip right through it and, and then uh, share a little concept with you. It's a little big concept. I want to talk just a little bit about the power of enzymes and probiotics in a way that maybe you never heard about. But they're power, they're simple, and it's a foundation of life itself from a physical perspective, but it's necessary to know about it because it, it has transformed so many people's lives in such a big way. And very few people know about it. But it's one of those kind of things that out of all the things in this life you'll ever know, just remember this. It's kind of like the 80-20% rule thing. Like, out of all the knowledge you ever will ever know in this life, about 20% of it is actually real, is valid, and, and must be known and applied in life. But the other 80%, it doesn't really matter if you know it or don't know it. It was just a few years ago, um, I was on a, I, you know, I was just kind of like having this moment of, Gosh, you know, after all these years, I've done this work and I've shared this, these countless stories helping people understand this concept. Years and years of that. And I only, I only had, by that time, I only touched about over 300,000 people directly and indirectly through years and years of going all over the world, teaching, tra training, facilitating, guiding people back to wellness. And I thought, gosh, what about all those, I mean, 300,000 now I, I can say over 400,000 people, you know, I've been able to help direct and bring back to a really powerful state of health and wellness and all that, and get their life out of it. But, but I was thinking for a second, thinking, gosh, you know, there's 7 billion people on this planet. <laughs> and if I myself, one-on-one, -on -one, or little groups here and there, touching a few hundred thousand people, that's one thing. And, you know, bless... Bless those people. Great. But in my mind, I'm thinking global. And I'm thinking 7 billion people haven't been exposed to this. And how nice it would be at least to create some exposure to get out to the world. So I said, Heavenly Father, if you could help me somehow figure out how to get more exposure to get this message out to the rest of the world that you've bestowed upon my heart, I would be so grateful. This is really, really about taking responsibility for your life, getting honed in on what you need to know how to live. When I say how to live, I'm talking about how to connect, how to plug in to the source of life itself, how to think in a really powerful, amazing way, and how to, how to love again, how to operate from this part of your, your being right here, how to love this life, how to love every moment that you're in, and, and how to be happy, 
How to not worry, be happy. Remember that song? Remember that song? How did it go? Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just be happy, you know. I mean, we need to know how to do that. And, and, and how, to, how to put food into your body. I'm, not, I'm talking about real food. I'm talking about food that actually feeds your body. I'm not talking about food that corrupts it and poisons it. Let me ask you a question before I really download on you guys. How, how, many, how many people in this room would just like to, would just like to really learn how to be lean, clean, serene, radiant, strong, and vibrant with abundance of energy and tremendous strength, be whole, complete, and feel better than you ever felt, and, and be able to never get sick again, and just live life, just thrive through life, just feel great, and be happy, and excited, and live a peaceful, harmonious life, but thrive in life. Thrive in this life. This life is so precious and so powerful and amazing, but we as a people are not thriving anymore. We, we've lost, somehow lost, and got, got detached from that, that knowledge that we once had that lived very truthful and very wholesome and very powerful. Somehow we lost sight of that. We lost the, the ability to live powerfully in this life. So how many people here would like to be able to thrive and live this life of abundance of energy and vitality and feel good. I mean, feel really good. Like that. Okay. Yes? Oh, yeah. Do I have all your hands? No. Really? You can imagine awesome. this guy right here in front of you, not speaking for 12 years. you have any idea what kind of miracle that was? I've been making up for it ever since, though. So in 1988, 1988, I was, I was led to break silence and start sharing these four principles. And I did. I started with one person, then two, and then three. And before I knew it, all of a sudden, people started recovering from this and from this and from that. And all of a sudden, people started having little family groups and friends and all that gathered together. And before I knew it, I started doing little talks for 10, 20 people at a time. Then it went to 100, 500, 5,000, 3,000, 800 people at a time. When I do this here, hardly anybody knows that I'm here doing this talk tonight. Hardly anybody knows about it. It's kind of like low profile, low key in it. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a real privilege to have you here. Just know that. To give me the privilege to share this with you tonight. I do that as a contribution to you. And while I'm here in the area working on recordings and books and all that kind of stuff here, uh, it's nice to be able to just come here and just chill out and share this, this message. And then from there, whoever takes it on, takes it on. Whoever doesn't, bless your hearts. We love you just the same. You know what I mean? So, the first thing we need to know, what is it that's causing us to suffer and have diseases and all these weird things that happen to us? Why is this happening to us? So we need to understand that. So I'm going to give you a little glimpse. When we suffer with, with toxic intentions, what I mean by that, negative intentions, toxic intentions, some of us have real negative intentions on ourselves or others. So you're, you, you, you know, we want to become more intentional about how we think and how we live and everything we do, right? So that's one thing. Another thing is toxic thinking. Because a lot of people have what they call stinking thinking going on. They make up all these stories are not good enough, they don't matter, and this and that and everything else. All the lack of mentality. They can never measure up, they can never you know, have anything or be anything or accomplish anything in life. Uh, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, I'm too ugly, I'm too stupid, I don't belong here. All these stories that we make up. I, I did it all. I, I know, I know what, that, what that is. I'm just saying, that's toxic thinking. Did you know that every cell that makes up your body, every cell that makes up your body, we're talking about over 35 trillion cells that make up your body, okay? But every cell that makes up your body, just know this, every thought that you have, every cell is responding, positively or negatively. So if you say you're stupid, ugly, and broke, that's exactly what you become. Whatever you focus on is what you become, is what you, mean, you are. That's what manifests in your life, whatever you're focusing on. So think about what you think, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then the other one is toxic emotions. So, so toxic emotions are like if you have fear, if you're operating from fear and anger, resentment, guilt, shame, grief, those are all negative emotions. And when you have negative emotions like that going on, Guess what?
Got all kind of dishes here. It looks like some kind of burger. And look at these crazy ass meals. Can you smell this one? Oh, it smells good. Smell this right here, pretty.